the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Start off a little late, but you know, <laughs> uh, to get into the word. And that's what I want to be able to do today. Um, we're getting ready to get into the Passover or the Resurrection Sunday. Amen. <laughs> the Resurrection Sunday. It was what we're getting ready to get to coming up. And uh, this this topic here, I think, is is going to is a good lead into uh, Resurrection Sunday. Now, some of you probably say, "What Resurrection Sunday are you talking about?" Well, I'm talking about what traditionally in this country is called uh, Easter Sunday um, which which is interesting because for years and years you know we we the traditional churches have used Easter Sunday even though that really refers to a, um, a pagan god right Esther right um, who came down and and apparently was birth of an egg, come out with an egg or something like that. And and uh, it was it was done because apparently during the the Passover, the early Christians uh, didn't take the take a Passover. Passover also keeps is a shifting time because it's a Hebrew time as of the time of year for pa Passover. Uh, so, so what? So what you have is that the, 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 uh, and I guess that's where the eggs come in. You know, the you know, Easter eggs and, uh, come in, and the and the bunny come in uh, for this holiday. In a lot of cases, that's where you see the baskets and you know the Easter basket, the bunny rabbit, the chocolate bunny rabbit, all those things. That's the that's that's the Easter Sunday they talk about, but the the churches, traditional churches and ministries, talk about the resurrection of Christ Yeshua, right? Uh, Yeshua is his Hebrew name, uh, but the Messiah uh, was crucified, and then he rose uh, on the third day uh, with the which. Some basically put that in more like on a Sunday morning uh, rise because he was killed on a high Sabbath. And the high Sabbath is what could have been is it could have been like a Thursday. Then you actually had the regular Sabbath day. Uh, and then they actually, uh, yeah, that's when he had, uh, after that, right? That's when you had three days in the night. He, he was in the ground. He said, I'm going to be in the ground for three days and three nights. So it, uh, traditionally, some have used Friday, uh, but you don't get to three days that way, right? You have to get to three. How do you get to three days? Three days is based on the high Sabbath, not the regular Sabbath. Uh, but that's another story. We talk about that next week if we want to, if we should. <laughs> but it's resurrection. And the fact is that we're going over the uh, the crucifixion of Christ and then his resurrection and far as believers his resurrection is critical to our foundation of faith you know John 3 16 God so gave the world I mean he gave his son the word made flesh and was crucified to redeem us through his blood. Well, and like I said, the preaching, we talked a couple of weeks ago, for some people that 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 they can't read, take that, and, and, and I can understand where you're coming from. You know, because the Bible said for the preaching of the cross is foolishness to, to the Greeks, right? To the Gentiles, right? Um, because or even for the the, the Jews, right? Uh, the preaching of the cross is, is just not 
acceptable but the resurrection is is a good news because it's talking about our redemption plan amen the fact is that christ rose from the dead and what i want to talk about is leading up to the 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 violence hey good brother i was, I was telling people about the this is we're leading up to resurrection sunday uh opposed to Easter Sunday. Uh, at Easter Sunday, traditional churches have used that. The Catholic Church used it, and it just continued to roll on to every uh, traditional service. But the, the point is that Esther, Easter, Esther is a pagan god. And I guess she was born when an egg came out as an egg, and I guess that's where the egg came from. And, uh, then you got the bunny wrappers and the chocolate candy and all that other stuff. <laughs> but regardless of the Easter Sunday, it's still the fact is that the traditional churches preach the resurrection of Christ, which is you know important to the foundation of our faith that He rose again. Uh, I think I think Paul said if if Christ was a, uh, wasn't uh, crucified and rose again, then I'll then our gospel is in vain, you know? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Amen. So anyway, with that in mind, though, this this message for this Sunday uh, is, is is leading up to the next Sunday, right? But, but it's a twist on it, obviously. <laughs> it's a twist on, on, on what I'm going to talk about today. And I wanted to I wanted to let you know it's a spinoff form. We did use your scriptures last week. Uh, your scripture you point out last week, uh, which is in uh, Matthew's, uh, I think it's twenty three, uh, the signs and end time coming. And and what what I and I, and I, we had spent off talking about the the young lady on the on the TikTok. I think you you may have seen it by now where the, the young lady was talking about how people could actually um, go to church service, then go to a picnic, and and then watch a lynching, you know, of, of a person, of a human being, and, and take their children with them, uh, and do all kind of brutal things to that person. Uh, after coming from a church service, knowing that, and which we're going to talk about today, knowing that our Savior, who we profess, died, like using using this uh, Easter Sunday or this Resurrection Sunday, to to what you call uh, to honor what happened, you know, to observe what was happening. In other words, he died a violent death. And then he was rose, then he rose again. But that violent death, that blood was was for our redemption plan. But it was still a violent death. And and what I want to be able to talk to people about, and, and check this out, you'll love this title. Uh, this, is, this is a great title, people. Uh, I think all my titles are great, but that's, that's another story. The whole point is, what's the point? What's where I'm trying to go with this, this Sunday? Well, if you look at it, you know, we talk about the teaching of the gospel, Yeshua's way, and the gospel is the good news. So we always want to do something about the good news. And we want to go about what's written. You know, this, this, this platform is, is based on what's written, what's written in the Bible. But the king, I took it from Matthew's 11, 12, which is similar to the path he was on with Matthew 24. Uh, the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. suffers violence. That's in Matthew's 11, 12. And I, and I put the question is, is this happening now? Now, I will show Matthew's 11, 12. Uh, and, but the point I want to be able to say is that this has been happening. <laughs> he said, let's go ahead and get that script. Let's see if I can find it. Where I put it at? Oh, he said it. Uh, 
where are you? I put, I had something in here. Put the tree, cause I'm going through all these scriptures to lead up to it. But I want to go ahead and show that scripture. That's, uh, let me see, book, there it is. Man, I go to a long way to get there. There it is at the beginning, at the bottom. You see what it says? And from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence take it by force. You know, it's funny, I think what's, one of our brothers sit there and think that when they said the violence take it by force, they actually try to take, use the, 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 the ministry, right? The, <laughs> the body of Christ as the violence, right? They take it by force. But it's not that, is it? It's not talking about ministry doing no. violence. <laughs> it's talking about the consistent violence <laughs> that has been done to the gospel through to what we talk about is our current day Christianity uh, has been continually, consistently uh, met with violence. Uh, one of the things I think about sometimes is uh, people, those coming in, is like I said, I'm looking at Matthew 11, 12. It's a, it's a fact is that I was looking at the sufferer's violence, uh, and I was, I was trying to equate that to long suffering. In other words, and it is kind of long suffering at the same time because it's putting up with it, it's, it's, it's dealing with it, it's, it's, it's moving and thriving despite of it, you know? But so many people want to use violence especially when we talk about our ministry we talk about the the the, the gospel uh, people have sat there and and use violence to to address their greed their anger their lies uh, and, and and they did it all the way up to even with Christ being crucified See, because even during the day of, of, of when Christ was here, the, it was occupied by the Romans, correct? And, and the Romans were not very pleasing people. They, they, they were very brutal in what they did. Uh, and that's why he had zealots sit there and wanted to kick the Romans out. And in many countries, not just Israel, have tried to fight and deal with the Romans. Uh, I think that one with the uh, death rising in a, in a certain region, I'm not sure what that region was, where uh, they actually put down the Romans and then the Romans still conquered them again and then they put the people, were, I think that guy's name was Talk God, I can't even remember his name. Uh, it'll come to me. But in the end, when they, put, when they dealt with that uh, rebellion, they put the people on crosses and line them up for miles. The roadside, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? To just to, to and all that was to just show them, to show, show anybody else that when you go against us, this is what's going to happen. So they 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 put them on cross because that was their one of their method of execution. You know, nailing people on the cross. And and I'm and I'm saying is that the violence. Uh, have always been attacking uh, the faith. We, when, and the end of violence we're talking about is first starting with Christ. He's always for John, from John the Baptist to now, though. Christ was saying is that that even his death was a violent, brutal thing, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Very violent. Uh, then we're talking about the arena. You know, when he was burning, when the Roman soldiers, Roman, Rome, uh, when the church was the ministry was growing, the Christian church was growing. They used to put people in the arena, and and they they were either burnt alive, or they was put in there with the lions, the, the feet, you know, eat on them, and and they'd be like they'd be like on like a football game, right? They'd be like, ah, yeah, you know, and then and then, and the believer though was singing, you know, they'd pray and they'd be singing, and and and, and, and it was affecting all those people. They were watching because the church the ministry kept growing. And then the Romans decided, well, if we can't beat them, right? Let's join them. But but we we think that when they're talking about just join them, 
we're going to, well, you know, we're going to be Christians. But, but that wasn't the case, was it? It was, let's incorporate them and melt them into our way of living, our way of thinking. And, and, and that's what they did. Because they, I mean, they tried to burn the Bible. <laughs> it was, they tried all kinds of ways to put it down. Uh, and I was sitting there yesterday, because uh, I want to talk about the, the, the crusade. You know, all that stuff came under the Roman Catholic Church, under the Pope, which was incorporated by Rome, right? In other words, they, they just repackage uh, everything to justify more conquering. You know, they wanted to reconquer the Middle East because that's what Rome had. Rome had the Middle East at the time when Christ was there, wasn't it? Uh, the, the Spanish Inquisition, the colonization, you know, the slave trade, and, and, the, and the violence, very violent for that too, wasn't it? Just violent. Uh, and, and then I was sitting there saying there was a movie out. Did you see there's a new movie coming out called His Only Begotten Son? Did, no, I have not. Oh, yeah. When you get a chance, Google it. And people that's going to listen to this, I, I want to bring a point. <laughs> is that all the movies, just like those paintings, those European paintings that people <laughs> that have been commissioned with Leonardo da Vinci, uh, uh, the characters from Abraham uh, to Christ, and the, you know, if you look at the title, "His Only Begotten Son," that's the title. Mm -hmm. right? That's a scripture title. And but then you put the characters that playing all the way up to this point are people that were from Europe. See, people, I hate to tell you them, uh, just not to be rude to you, but Europeans, Romans, they executed Christ. Uh, they put him on the cross. Uh, they. They, they did that. Now, the Jews, we agree with that, right? The Jews are the ones who brought him to Christ. I mean, to the Romans yeah. to be crucified. But the characters were European. They actually did the state execution. And, and the audacity, I mean, you agree with that, right? That, that, the audacity to portray the Hebrews as 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 Europeans is this is go ahead propaganda you it know is. I I always said that uh Cecil B the Mills Ten Commandments <laughs> was the biggest propaganda ever you know <laughs> especially when people were so enthralled into what they were viewing yes you know and that 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 right there really blew people I mean when you see and hear people talking about Moses, mm -hmm. people actually envision <laughs> Charleston Heston. Exactly. Exactly. You know, uh, when I read these books, or actually when I and I start to look at these books, right? To see if it's something that I want to delve into. Right. And when I go and look at the pictures. And these are supposed to be scholars, and then they have these images of Caucasian people you know, yeah. portraying these biblical, they're not characters, these are biblical people actually yeah. existed. Exactly. And, um, and this is supposed to be documented facts yes. about <laughs> historical events, but yet they take, they knowingly they knowingly take the character and change it for the benefit of their kind of the propaganda really we're talking about this propaganda and people we're, we're not it to tell to tell we're not what i what i want to do people often just want to understand is that it's, it's not attack against europeans it's that's you you have a role you played in in in, in the resurrection I'm assuming in the death of Christ, you you have a role uh, in it, and what it seems similar, brother Ad Addison, check this out. It seems similar to what's going on today, people, 
Just think where it. we try to ban books and rewrite when we it. try we re rewrite history. When when Tucker Carlson, what he did, and you and I talked about that last week and week before last, what Tucker Carlson did was try to rewrite history. Uh, because it, it and it had a stunning effect when you think about it, Brother Addison. When you looked at that rotunda, that camera that looked down in the rotunda, and it was empty. <laughs> it, was, it was on a like maybe one or two people walking. You you're like, ooh. Oh, that, I mean, it's psychologically, you, you say, oh, what I saw on TV, what I saw, my lion eyes saw, my lion eyes saw people breaking into that building. You know, Miss Baba sitting there being, that didn't happen. It, that number of things happened. And you're like, really? Really? You you're repackaging, you're repainting, you're propagizing, and you're trying to make an image of what I think I even got this one of these scriptures here of really wolves wearing sheep clothing. And the wolves represents balance. Balance people. The, the, and I can see why they want to repack. You see what I'm saying? Abandon the books and stuff like that. I was talking to, uh, the reason, and also what made me drive toward this subject I'm going to talk about is that Brother Addison, the, the, uh, I talked to a young man, excuse me, excuse me y'all, not, somebody seasoned, seasoned as some of us are, you know, either late 50s or early 60s. And, and I was talking to him about that video, the TikTok video. Mm -hmm. Did you have a chance to look at it uh, at all? No. I'm talking about what you no. should look at. No, okay. Well, like I said, it was it was this. The lady was asking, "How how could you do that? How could you actually go to church uh, and then go out and do involved with lynching?" And then yeah, well, go ahead. I uh, here lately when when all this stuff is going on and I'm trying to figure this out. And even going back after, let me start by saying this, after traveling the world. Traveling the world, okay. Be, being in the, in the military, traveling the world, literally, and seeing uh, people of color being put down, attacked, abused, you know, uh, always uh, being made as the victim of this assault against them. And it's always people of color. And I would always ask what's going on? What, mm. what is happening? You know, why, why is it the world is this way? And because, mm -hmm. you know, prior to that, and prior to this internet giving you information that's, you know, showing the truth, you would not know that this is not just an American thing. Right. You would think that it was just happening here in America, but no, this is going on around the world. And so, uh, uh, but this one scripture in John, it uh, starts coming to mind. Um, what is it? Uh, John 15, where Jesus says, uh, if the world hated me, I mean, hated you, yeah, know that it hated me first. Mm, okay. I and so, of, yeah. okay. you know, and, and, and then coming to find out that, okay, well, most of the people that are, are attacking people of color are not mm -hmm. people of color. Yeah. And then, you know, and then you realize that people of the Bible and that people that Christ was talking about were of color. Mm. Not just saying that they were uh they were his disciples, but they were also people of color. Right. Well with the origin, then, basic origin of man yeah. to a degree. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh yeah, then you know that correlations begins to 
makes sense. Oh yeah. You know, matter of fact, matter of fact, why, let's, why let's, they why they would just attack people just for, for the color of their skin. Yeah. You know? And and so this is almost, I mean, this is a prophetic speaking of Christ, knowing yeah. that the world will hate you, will attack yeah. you, will kill you, and mm -hmm. think that they're doing the work of God. Mm, they do. Because if you think about it, it was, it was John, just let me show, I was putting that for other people. It's John 15, 19, yeah. where that, that scripture was at. And, and, and with that, that, you know, when you was talking, that gave me the thinking about Cain and Abel again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, he, 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 they did the same thing to him, uh, to Abel. Abel was showing the, the will of God and Cain just, just, just was upset with it, you know? Uh, and, and he was upset with God because he wanted to do it his way. He had that pride. You know that was in it as well. That was a John. Just for people, I put up on the slide on, but I just for real quick. You see it right there, uh, John fifteen nineteen. If if you were the world, the world would love you. Interesting. Ooh. ooh. Yeah, but it starts at, at eighteen. You know, if the world <laughs> hated you, if the world hates you. You know that yeah. it hated me before yeah. it hated you. John 15, 18. There yeah. you go. That's and then, right. And then 19, it says, if you were of the world. Sound like somebody. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The go ahead. world would love his own. Oh, 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 oh. Is that, is that, oh, it, it, does that correlate with politics a little bit? Did, that's did, politics. Oh, <laughs> that's, because, that's, that's this world's system. Woo. Not just, just, that's not just politics. It's the function of this world. Ooh. This is talking about the world and, and, and understand that, that it's not just uh, American politics. This mm. is politics around the world. And it doesn't take a genius to see the persecution that's going on and Ooh. who's going on against. Who it has been, is, and constantly will be is against those people who are either just of color or people mm. who are are living truth speaking truth walking truth wow. Wow. people who are are loving who are trying to uh, uh bring about equality they're all it's all being attacked the truth is being attacked. Equality is being attacked. Love is being attacked. Love is being attacked, and, and that's and, what that's my title will be too. Yeah. And and so when you look at that, and you find out why, yeah, the reason why is because of power, authority, and and money. Mm, the world system, the god of this world. You know, I, I guess, you know, tell people when I re-edit this tape, I'm going to put this, these slides here. Matter of fact, he's reading from starting at John 15, 18. Why don't you read that a little bit for us to tell you the truth? Okay. From 18 to 27. The title is, like I said, The Hatred of the World. <laughs> if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world mm. would love his own. Mm. But because ye are not of the world, yes. but I have chosen you out of the world wow. before the world hateth you. Yes. I mean, therefore the world hateth you. Uh -huh. Remember the word that I said unto you, mm. the servant is not greater than his Lord. Okay. If they have persecuted me. Yes, they see. will also persecute you. Wow. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Mm. All these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. They just turn because, right on you. Because they know not him oh. that sent me. Wow. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they mm. had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Yeah.
days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.